Hey everybody, what's going on? We are back on the YouTubes. It's been uh, a couple months since we've been on here. Uh, it's not like we haven't been doing nothing. Uh, I've been working nonstop on that new truck and trailer we got. Um, trying to get these cars ready for Florida. Just really haven't had time to dink around with getting on the YouTubes. But I uh, figured we'd get on here, check in with everybody, let you know what's all going on. Um, just getting the cars ready to head to Florida here in a couple weeks. We're taking the IMCA cars down to the Clash on the Coast tour that Peyton Taylor's putting on down there in uh, Northwest Florida, I guess it would be. Uh, a couple tracks we've never been to down there. So that should be really cool. He's putting together a pretty cool deal. Uh, a lot of cars are uh, pre-entered. A lot of sponsors are coming on board for it. So we're really excited to get down there and uh, see what we can do. Uh, but yeah, we've been uh, pretty much just busting ass on the new truck and trailer we picked up back in, I think it was October, November, um, working nonstop on that thing. Uh, it's been, been kind of a chore, a lot more work than what we were thinking was going to go into it. But once we get it all done, which it's pretty damn close right now. So, um, yeah, but we went down to diamond last weekend, picked up our new diamond KT three IMCA slash UMP car. Um, just got it back. It's up on the hoist now. Um, excited to get that thing out. It's kind of uh, it's a little bit different than the car we had last year as far as just uh, a lot of the mounting points and stuff like that. And then uh, we'll basically be able to pull the motor, swap the lower control arms, and be able to run either IMCA or UMP with it. Um, so with UMP pretty much dying up here in Michigan and IMCA pretty much taking over, it's kind of one of them deals. If we want to get down to like Fairbury or something like that, we'll still be able to do that um and still be competitive you know so i'm um, really excited to get that thing out um but yeah we're going to take the two old cars down to florida with us um both really good cars we actually have a pretty cool announcement coming here probably in the next week or so um so be on the lookout for that something real cool we're putting together for uh down in florida so just make sure you keep an eye on the page and stuff like that and we we'll probably put something out maybe next week or something about what's going on so really excited for that but yeah we really don't have much much else to do on the cars really just a bunch of little maintenance things a few parts we got to swap out but other than that um they're pretty much ready to go we're leaving the same old bodies on for last year when we get back from florida we'll throw a new tin on it figured the bodies are still in pretty good shape so <sighs> shops a mess as you can see i mean it's it's a disaster zone we got parts and pieces and everything everywhere but um from emptying out the old trailer we're still working on getting everything organized in the new one so hopefully here once we get the new car put together we can clean up this corner over here i mean it's just a motor rear end front end everything over there so um once we get that put together that'd be cleaned up and then up front of the shop get all that stuff loaded in the trailer and should be back to back to normal hopefully so now I figured jump on here. I want to take you guys out to the new truck and trailer, kind of show you uh, what it's all about. Um, like I said, we've been busting our ass on that thing nonstop for the last couple months. Um, just a lot of things that we didn't we didn't really know about when we got it um, that we've kind of figured out as we started tearing into it. Um, it's been it's been a chore, but luckily, you know, between um, my wife, Todd. Doug Essman, my brother Tyler, um, been able to bust it out. So um, it's really, really close. Just a few minor things we need to finish up. We're actually uh, gonna get the truck worked on this week. We found some electrical problems with just with some lights and stuff. Um, so we're gonna get that fixed. We're actually gonna take that down there today. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, we'll head out there and uh, we'll show you what we got cooking. So this is the new rig. It's dirty as hell and covered nice and everything else from our trip last weekend down to Diamond. Uh, we hit a snowstorm coming home, so this thing is absolutely disgusting right now on the outside. But uh, yeah, you've probably seen pictures or something on Facebook. But this is the uh, the new rig. Let's, uh, let's go inside here. So this is this is the toter home. We, uh, these are a couple bunks we got here. 
um, put all new flooring in. The last owners must have had a water leak or something because the whole floor was screwed up. But um, a little different than some. We got on this side is the toilet. Um, and then over on this side here is the shower. So, um, yeah, so we did that. We had to put a new dinette set in. That thing there folds down to a bed. Um, put all new couches in. Both couches in it were screwed up. Had to put a new microwave in it. Um, had to put new blinds in. Uh, there's another bed up here. People to sleep. And up front here. Put this new thing in here. It's pretty badass. New stereo and stuff. Because the speakers were blown and everything else in it. Um, but yeah, we, uh, it's been definitely a chore for sure. Trying to just get everything, you know, fixed back up. Um, yeah, new toilet, new couches, new dinette set, new microwave. Um, roofs were leaking in both the truck and trailer. So we had to seal those up. Uh, trying to think what else we've had to do. It's, it's been a mess. Um, but yeah, we got... We got it all pretty much done, so we're excited to uh, get going down the road with this thing. We took it last weekend to Diamond, obviously, and uh, found a few things wrong with it on the trip. So that's what we're going to do when we take it down is get all that shit fixed up. You know, just might as well get everything fixed now. That way, you know, going down the road, you know, we don't have any issues, um, especially with the kids and stuff. We don't want to be trapped somewhere weird and side of the road or something like that so um but no it's turned out pretty nice i think you know the the flooring turned out nice and the couches and everything you know um i think it i think it's gonna be real nice for for the fam and you know the team you know we'll have plenty of room for everybody in here which is which is going to be really nice but uh, yeah we had to put a new door handle on because the door handle was busted off the thing and pretty much anything that needed uh that you could replace we've replaced it um which kind of sucks because we didn't really know anything about it until uh we got home i guess we kind of took for granted or i don't know how to word it but took their word for granted i guess and uh i guess we shouldn't have. but we'll take you out to the trailer um so this is a new trailer Got the new rugs put in, Modern Images did those. Um, got the Spring Smasher. Got the refrigerator put in, you know, to hold all your candy bars or soda, you know. Um, but now plenty of tire room, tire space. Uh, plenty of cabinet space. It's got the sliding doors in it, which is pretty cool for uh, either when it's hot or cold. We got a AC unit and a heater in here so it'll be it'll be nice year round no matter what but yeah there's really, really not much to show in here really um then obviously up here you know we got both cars will go up top um but yeah we're we're really excited i think this is going to be pretty badass for us um i just can't thank my dad enough and everybody that helps us out you know I couldn't do it with especially out with my dad and his love for the sport he helps out you know so many people in the racing world um he doesn't really get enough credit for it. a lot of people really don't know what he does as far as helping people out and stuff and uh just can't thank him enough for everything um but yeah we're we're getting ready to take her down and get worked on and then here in a couple weeks we'll have her loaded down ready to uh head to florida but like I said, be on the uh, lookout next week or so. Um, we got a really big announcement. I think it's going to be really cool. Really cool for the YouTube stuff and uh, just, you know, racing in general. Um, but, yeah, keep a, keep an eye on the page. It's going to be pretty neat. But, all right, well, I'm going to get out of the trailer because it's about negative 70 out here. Um, I'll go back in the shop and catch back up with you. All right, we're back inside. Um all right well i figured i would uh like i said just check in with everybody let you know what was all going on um modern images they've uh they've helped us out a lot in the last couple years as far as doing all of our shirts 
we got new shirts coming in, so if anybody wants one, get on the uh, racing page, check them out. You can get a hold of me for pre-order, get on the list, you know. Um, but they, uh, like I said, those rugs are badass. Um, super, super nice rugs there. And then they did this deal for the top of the toolbox. I think that turned out pretty sweet. It's made out of uh, some weird rough material, so save the top of the toolbox. And then uh, once we get down to Florida, we got a couple things we're going to be putting on the trailer. It's just too cold to put any stickers on right now. Um, some stickers for the uh, sliding doors and stuff like that. But we'll get a we'll get a video down there showing you what what all they do. But um, yeah, they they're, they're they've been awesome to us by far best uh deal we've dealt with as far as you know all that stuff stickers and um wraps and whatever they do about everything so if you guys are looking to get any of that stuff done um definitely get a hold of modern images you can get on their website um all the order forms and stuff like that are right on there um it's just such an easy process to do everything and they're really good at what they do so can't thank them guys enough but uh yeah, so I'm going to jump off here. Uh, we got to get that truck and trailer started up and take her down and get, get some work done to it. So we're going to get after that. But uh, yeah, be on the lookout next week. We got something cool coming. So uh, make sure to check it out. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We appreciate everybody following us. Um, I think this year is going to be a pretty good year. I think we're going to have a lot more uh, footage and stuff like that. Um, got a few guys helping us. So I think we're going to we're going to put together some pretty cool stuff. So just appreciate everybody watching. We'll see you later.